Hello, one and all. This is my review of the Ruby official manga, chapter 14. And uh, quite frankly, I don't know why this chapter took so long to come out. And by the end of the last one, it said that next ch chapter 14 was coming out December 24th. Well, this one just came out like two days ago, so no idea what happened with the delay, but it's here and I loved it. And this fight between Ruby and Cinder was actually how I remember the fight taking place. This epic back and forth as they trade blows. But I just looked it up because I was kind of curious about a few things. And the battle lasts like all of 30 seconds between these two. Whereas this one just feels way more dramatic and exciting. Cinder quickly, instantly changing out her weapons, attacking Ruby like this. And uh, Ruby's line, Ugh, fighting in heels sure is a pain in the foot. How the heck does Weiss pull this off? It, which actually made me realize Weiss doesn't actually move that much when she fights. I mean, her basic battle style is literally standing in one position, raising her sword, and then making her glyphs attack the enemy. So, I'm not saying she can't run and fight, but between, you know, all of Team Ruby, she's the least acrobatic member. Hell, John is probably more acrobatic than her. Though she also has those years and years of ladylike training, so that certainly helps, I guess. And in the two seconds it takes Ruby to kick off the heels, <sighs> Cinder manages to get uh, the drop on her. And would have straight up murdered her, except she ran out of time. I also just love how she disappears in this giant poof of flames. And instead of Ruby just turning around and then turning back and be like, Where'd she go? And then, oh my god, I just love uh, the change they made here. I mean... In main series, you know, Ruby comes into the main office and Ironwood's like, Ruby, I just wanted to let you know you did an amazing job. You did exactly what Huntress is supposed to do. You saw a danger and you react to it. Good on you. And said here, Glinda spends a full page just ringing her out, screaming at her for uh, going in without telling anyone, without getting any backup. Which, I mean, looking back, yeah, Ruby probably should have gone to someone else for backup. But with her semblance, she could have followed the person faster than anyone else. So, a little bit of a catch-22 right there. She also straight up just tells them, oh, Roman mentioned Southeast Vale. Instead of trying to come up with this weird lie that in the middle of their fight, Cinder revealed where her headquarters was and how to find her. Which, yeah, looking back makes a lot more sense. I mean, Ospin never believed her lie, and honestly, no one else did either. But he just, you know, let her get away with it anyway. And then when she gets back to her room, she gets another lecture, this time from Weiss. Because, you know, revealing the enemy's hideout is in Southeast Vale makes it much, much harder for them to actually get to Southeast Vale to investigate the cults. And Ruby's hoping now, oh, maybe they'll let us go. But Weiss is like, no, no, they won't. They'll send third years or real huntsmen, not us. But thankfully it all works out. And uh, Ospin still sends them Southeast Vale, knowing there's a crazy, dangerous cult of killers there. Good uh, headmaster. Really uh, responsible actions right there. And his reasoning for this is a little strange right here. I mean, he says, because the ones who obtained crucial intel we ourselves could not were those young women. That's not a real answer. I mean, why? I'm, I'm, my best guess is he's trying to assess out just how strong they are, figure out how what their full potential is in a place where an actual huntsman can observe them or something like that. I mean, I'm guessing this is him trying to encourage the skills they've already shown, but all in all, it just comes off as a very strange system for him to make. Speaking of strange, Zwei's here! Yay! And I, I love Zwei, and I think he's adorable this entire volume, but... But what the living heck is this first shot of him? He just looks deformed like a monster straight out of hell. I mean, like I said, literally every other shot of him I find adorable. It's not this first one. He looks really freaking creepy. I do just love how much Weiss loves him, though. Ruby, who is this charming fellow? Ruby, might I also play? Oh my god. She just absolutely freaking loves Why? I'm gonna guess her father never let her have a dog growing up, you know? calling them filthy, disgusting mutts, or offering to get her a faunus instead as a uh, servant. Yeah, I can actually see Jock saying that, and it, it, it irks me quite a bit. I also just love that Zwei doesn't come in a can. I, I, I get that I was done for laughs in the first volume, they did a lot of gags like that, but looking back, that was really freaking stupid. And they left him with a can opener to feed himself for the several days they're gone. So weird. And, you know, then the fact that they uh, all agree to sneak him in Ruby's backpack as they're going on their mission was just so freaking adorable. It makes a lot more sense, you know, Ruby isn't trying to do this by herself. And his line here is, I think, really important in the next chapter. Was a huntsman, verify what it is you wish to become and explore any uncertainties within you. Best of luck. I mean, that's literally what the next scene is going to be about, you know. While they're there, while they're uh, traveling the mountains in Southeast Vale... Ublek questions them. He asks them to figure out exactly what it is they want. He tests them to figure out 
why you're here, what it is you want to do, what kind of huntress do you want to be? And I'm actually really excited to see that. I mean, everything this uh, manga has done, I mean, like 99% of what this manga has done has been better than the main series. And that was such a great moment for all the characters. One of their best moments of growth and self-reflection in all seven volumes so far. So just really excited to see what the uh, manga does with that. And Ruby's just so excited that she's, you know, another step closer to her dream. And then that excitement is immediately destroyed when they realize that their uh, advisor is Ublak. Dr. Ublak, sorry. I do love this line, though. I wonder what kind of weapon the pro is going to wield. A battle axe? Maybe a Zwywander? Nope, a coffee thermos. Yep. Uh, Dr. Ublak's weapon is a coffee thermos. Gotta love him. And gotta love his rant. However, excess adrenaline can stimulate nerves more than is necessary linked to fatigue and loss of focus. As professionals, we hope to bring our mission to an ensured and swift end. To that end, huntsmen must maintain presence of mind. You have already demonstrated yourselves lacking and you ought to reflect on that. If this were one of my lectures, I would demand a 50-page report on the effects of breathing techniques on autonomic nerves. But alas, you are excused today. Why? Only because this mission is upon us. Now then, are you prepared? Anyway, then they're all very disappointed they have to team up with Ublak. But, you know, Ruby, she's still excited for the mission. Still excited to be treated as a real huntress for the first time in her life. And I'm excited for her too. So I'm really looking forward to the next chapter, like I said. The self-reflection they do in it was going to be absolutely amazing. I'm really excited to see it. So those are my thoughts on Ruby uh, chapter 14. So yeah, like I said, no idea why this delayed so much. It says the next chapter is coming out January 28th. Hopefully they stick to that schedule and I get the next video out by the 29th or 30th. So let me think about all this down below. What do you think of this chapter? What do you think it changes? What do you think of Ozpin's reasoning here? Because I'm still very confused by it. I mean, it makes some sort of sense... Maybe we look back when Raven said way back when how Oz uh, sent them out on more dangerous missions to test them, see if they were worthy of being his soldiers. Be sure to like, subscribe, see you in the next video, and until then, peace.